Today's tip of the day to help you overcome disconnection from childhood trauma and hence depression is by practicing meditation and mindfulness. Eckhart Tolle quoted, In today's rush, we all think too much, seek too much, want too much, and forget all about the joy of just being. I love that quote. And it's so true. I mean, if I had one wish for the world, it would be that every single person practices some form of mindfulness or meditation every day. It really, really can make the world a better place. It dissolves all egos. It makes you seek love, compassion, happiness, gratitude, peace, forgiveness. You can master your day. You can envision the future and you can have that support and that love and that gratitude for your higher self or God or whoever protects and guides you. It's such a beautiful tool and practice and you know people do this in several ways so the one I just went through um, in the wrong order but, but maybe but it's a six-phase meditation by um, Vision Lakiani from Mind Valley. so not affiliation just saying it's a wonderful thing especially for those who can't stick sit still so for me I love guided meditation and there's so many others that you can do this you know the famous headspace there's the calm as well so there's several others but I love this one because of because I'm a visionary I love visualizing things so and having that guided voice it's really really reassuring and it just helps me keep focus so yeah so you can engage in, in in meditation and it can be a simple thing even if you don't want to do that do something else anything that gets you to that calm space some people like yoga others like going for long walks or it can even be reading but I really do recommend meditation because it really helps you observe your thoughts and know when you have triggers to to pause I think that's the thing because just like the quote say we're always rushing and sometimes we get triggered and we act out of character and regret it so as you become an expert in meditation and mindfulness you learn to just observe and sit back so if something happens maybe someone cuts you off or someone you see someone else being bullied and you want to interject because you were bullied so you you know you're coming in as the savior but sometimes you just have to pause and see okay how do I approach this how do I put myself in someone else's shoes maybe they didn't mean to they were just having a rough day or you never know what's happening in their home life or in their relationship or whatever so it just makes you have that empathy and that love for everyone so a simple thing you can do I'll just talk you through a short one it's not the full version I'd recommend 20 minutes um, so if you can do it longer fine um, I don't have the patience for that but um, you can use the Ombana app the guided meditation six phase meditation but if not sometimes just take a moment it can even be five minutes just close your eyes take a deep breath in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out and whilst you're doing that just relax all the muscles of your body relax your head your eyes your forehead your nose your mouth your shoulders relax your chest and whilst you're doing this feel joy and smile if you can as well so if, if you can't embody that think about someone that gives you that love someone you love someone you're in love with someone you care about feel your heart chakra opening like a beautiful green petal and you are projecting that beautiful love and light visualize green emerald floating towards that person it looks silly but it really works because you feel it because you care about that person you love that person and you want to share your love with them and then now picture someone else maybe not you, that you're not so close to and then project that love to them and even more challenging picture someone you don't like and send them that love because at the end of the day we're all connected and we're all one so let's all connect and let's all be one let's all be one love so one way of overcoming depression is by practicing meditation and mindfulness mm -hmm.